Well, I'll see you again tonight. Yeah, why not? I'll meet you in the pub at about seven. Girlfriend gone then? Yeah. Good. Why? Is there a problem? No, as long as she doesn't come in here and stays away from me and Jean. Have you had your breakfast yet? No. You'll have to have it when you get back then. Back from where? Emma dropped us off last night after I couldn't go out with him because you wouldn't babysit. I don't have to babysit. So my car is still at the pub. Would you please go and collect it? You do accept that collecting my car is part of your job description? Yes. Good. Off you go, then. Oh! Ten pounds, five ounces. Yeah. That is a big one. Hold on a minute. Who's that? Cousin Elvis. Oh. Sit. Oh, yes. So, a 48-hour labour. Marilyn must have felt like she were going through 15 rounds with a bare-knuckle fighter. Huh. Yes, I'll pass on the good news. Give my love to Marilyn and baby Brando. Do you think I am a complete idiot? I, I don't know. Where's your father? He'll kill me if I tell you. And I'll kill you if you don't. I'll miss him and all, you know. What do you mean, miss him? How long's he gonna be gone for? Days? Weeks? I, I never asked him to go. Haven't you gone yet? No. I had some work to do. Don't need the car at the moment, do you? No, but I might have. As soon as I've taken the children for a walk, so don't worry. Might as well pick it up myself. Fine. Don't forget you promised to look after the children for me tonight. Where's the tiller of the hum? She's in shock, I think. She tried to bar me and Kate yesterday. Did she? Yeah. Had to put her straight. So Kate tells me you're having a barbecue tonight. Yeah. What time? About six-ish. Why are you coming? Yeah. Great. And Katie? Yeah. And Katie. Is that all right? No, yeah, of course it is. It's just... Well, you know, Donna's coming in. Well, Kate is not exactly Donna's favourite person at the moment, is she? Well, she'll just have to put up with it, won't she? Well, yeah, but it's just I'm trying to... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Right, I'm gonna get off. I'll see ya. Hey, Danny. Katie. What's this? Bank holiday booze up? Oh, yeah. All on your own? Well, I don't see anyone else, do you? Been knocking them back a bit, haven't you? Oh, no, it's not Zoe again, is it? I'm sick of her messing me about, Sid. One minute she's all over me, the next minute she's not. Hey, I've told you, I don't hear any of this. I've had enough. And then her ex-girlfriend turns up and suddenly, I'm a skivvy. Do this. Do that. Fetch my car. So sort it out with her. And Emma was so rude about Scott. Well, I don't know. What do you expect? She's she's gay and you're her ex-girlfriend and you're planning on having a relationship with a man. But not just a man, but a man that she used to hate. Well, 
And I mean, all she knows is what I used to be like. Well, that was too cowardly to tell her any of that. Yes, darling. You didn't, you didn't tell her? Well, I... I told her that I was thinking of having a relationship with a man. But you didn't tell her it was Scott? Nope. Why not? Because... Because it was difficult. Because you're ashamed, you mean? No, because... So you can't have a relationship with Scott when you don't even tell your friends about it. You're deluding yourself. Don't tell me what I can or can't do. Anyway, there's probably no chance of me having a relationship with Scott now. Not now that he's back with Chloe. Well, good. But, well, perhaps that's a good thing. That stop you making a complete fool like yourself. <laughs> Is it a private joke? <laughs> no, but I'd probably lose something in translation. <laughs> would you uh, care for a coffee, Sadie? No, thank you. But a mineral water would be lovely. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear you sounding so buoyant. Oh, she's a one-off, you know, Sadie. She's so direct. I don't think I've met anyone I've liked so much in a long time. Well, well I'm, I'm happy for you. And you don't think the age thing is going to be a problem? Well, not for me. I think she might like older men. Really? Well, we older men do have several advantages, you know. And what's that? Wisdom and experience. No, I was thinking of hide like a rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, are you oh. supposed to be looking after the children tonight? Yeah, he's inside just getting a drink. Is he? Right. I'll leave it, Zoe. Beg your pardon? He's been here for a while by the looks of things. He's a bit drunk. Great, and I'm supposed to just let him carry on boozing, am I? Why not? You don't own him. No, because he has a job to do. Just get off his back. Why should I? Because he... Because he's only acting like this because he fancies you. you. Can't talk about anything else. It's rubbish. He's having a relationship with Chloe. I don't think he gives a damn about Chloe. Look, it's none of my business. It's okay. Please, we just have a word with him all summer. It's driving me nuts. Right, I'm off. I'll leave you to it. Hey. I'll see you later. I've got nothing to say that I want to hear. Scott, please, will, will you just give me a chance? I'm sorry that I was rude and grouchy this morning. I didn't mean it. What's he been saying? Nothing, nothing. At... Please, can we talk about this at home? I... It's private. OK. Where are you going? I'm going to work. To work? Now? But what about our day? Yeah, well, something came up. Well, will I see you later or not? I don't know. Not a clue. To be honest, I wouldn't really bother anyway. You know, you want to watch yourself, Scott. You're turning into Zoe's lapdog. Do you ask Scott to come? Um, no. No, he's busy. Oh. Uh, she looks like she's at a loose end now, if you want to ask her. I'm joking. What do you want? Need any help? No. Yes. You can run barbecue. No sign of Carl yet, then? Not yet. Maybe his dad's grounded him. He's not 12 years old, you know. Just as well. I should be in trouble. Oh, we'll be here. Don't you worry. What makes you think I'm worrying? You look nice. Thank you. My mum would only let me have this. Well, I don't matter. It's booze, isn't it? 
Everybody all right? Hi, yeah. Um, she said just to come straight through. You didn't tell me she were coming. Your Wayne selection's a bit limited, isn't it? I beg your pardon. I'll have you know it's the best for miles around. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything, does it? I mean, we live in the middle of nowhere, don't we? Yeah. Anyway, either way, I suppose you'll want to stock Rodney's special new Wayne, won't you, when it's ready? Oh, I see. Might have known you had an angle. It's going to be named after me. Valeria Gira Gera something. It's South American. All the best wines these days are South American. Oh, I favour South African at the moment, yourself. Of course, Rodney's got to get this special vein first from Chile and then graft it on or something. It takes absolutely forever. But at the end of the day, there'll be wine in the shops and it'll be named after me. <laughs> Uh, Val, uh, this uh, special vine that Rodney's got to get, did you say he's got to get it from Chile? Yeah, Casablanca. Oh, why did you want to order some? Oh, not while it's still on the vine, no. Sounds a bit premature-like. Uh, but it is still interesting. Um, uh, does Rodney have to go and get this vine himself? No. I shouldn't really tell you this, but it's illegal. And don't tell anyone. But he's going to get someone else to smuggle it in. Isn't that romantic? Yeah. Dead romantic. Booze is running out. Yeah, that's because there's too many people for the beer. Yeah, that's because there's not enough beer for the people. No, she means me, Danny. But Donna, why don't you just come out and say it? All right, I mean you. It's Jill Girls. Look, I've already told you, right? She's my guest. I invited her and it's my barbecue. No, it's all right, Chaz. I've already had some of the barbecue and a drink. We'll go, won't we, Rob? We are going to stay for long anyway. Well, it depended on who else was here. Yeah, and it turned out to be Donna, so we're going. See you later. See you. Hi. Oh, hello, then. Are you busy? No, no, come in. I, um, I ran into Zoe Tate today. Oh, yeah, where? And just in the street. Oh, she's very beautiful, isn't she? Whiskey? Uh, yes, please. Yes, very. Doesn't like men, though, apparently. Doesn't she? Well, she's mother to at least one of those babies, isn't she? Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I don't listen to gossip. And the other one's charities, I gather. Yeah. Well, I knew she had a baby adopted. I just didn't realise the adoption was local. I mean, fancy living so close, having to see him all the time. I couldn't do it. No. But then again, I couldn't give a baby away at all. You don't think she's right for me, do you? Oh, look, Tom, I wouldn't dream of interfering. And besides, it, I really like charity. It's just, I care about you so much. We don't know what she was going through at that time when she gave her baby away. No, no, you're right, we don't. And being in prison is very far from my experience. Especially for murder. And she was acquitted on appeal. That means that in the end they found her innocent. Or have you been listening to local gossip about that and all? Why? Is there gossip about it? Oh, I know. It's been... All right. Oh! oh! Hey! Sorry I'm late. I was beginning to wonder. Look, I've saved your kebab. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you got anything for me? Right, hey, steady on. Let me have my kebab and have a few beers with the lads, eh? You'll be lucky, the beer's all gone. Why don't we go to the pub, then? It's getting a bit parky now, anyway. It's a good idea. Yeah, get some more drinks in. Wait. Maybe come back here later. Can't wait. Where are you coming, then, you two? Oh, do you not want to go? No. What do you want to do? I want to go for a walk. What, now? Yeah, in the woods, away from that lot. Come on. Hey, hey, watch me kebab. <laughs> Listen, I'm, um, I'm sorry about before. Well, you haven't behaved as badly as me. Can I... Can I ask you something? <clears throat> yeah. Sid said that you're not really in a relationship with Chloe. Well, no, I'm not really. Not one that means anything anyway. So why did you invite her back here last night? Because there's no-one else here. 
It doesn't really sound like a good reason, does it? Is it because of me? You have feelings for me, don't you? Sid's got a big mouth. Do you? I think you already know that. No, I haven't been sure. All right. I'll tell you, if you want to know. The thing is, ever since we kissed, I've not been able to think about anything else but you. And when you went away with Callie, I was jealous. And when Emma came here yesterday, I was jealous as well. I even... <laughs> I even erased a message that she left for you. I mean, how sad is that? Well, I'm sorry, but I can't help it. That is the way I feel. And I know I've ruined everything now. So I'll pack my bags. Scott. Don't go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, no, Fadna. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. You're in full public view. No, we're not. Not unless you stop to watch. Oh, you need have no fear of that. Come along, Tootsie. <laughs> Are you going to shout at me? No. I just want a little chat. Right. What? Exactly. Did your dad say to you when he left? Uh, nothing. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I swear. Okay. Because you wouldn't lie to me, would you? No. Because if you did lie to me and I found out that you did, I would be very disappointed. Would you? Yes, because you lying to me would be worse than finding out that your good-for-nothing father has gone off to Chile, swanned off there on a wild goose chase for a vine at Rodney's behest! Oh. I mean, what am I? Am I the little woman that cooks and cleans and, and can't be bothered to find out about the bigger things in life? Like... Breaking the law in two countries at the same time! You're cross, aren't you? Of course I am cross! Zach's gone to Chile! And you have lied to me! Soz. Get out of my sight! But it'll all be on Kidori, my dad said. Get! Come on. Here they are, officers. Well, then you two. Mrs. Birch tells me you've been disturbing the peace. You called the police. You sad old bag. How dare you call me names? Uh, can we all calm down a little here? Oh, we were just having a bit of a cuddle. There's nobody around. Yeah, until the sad old bag turned up. I have every right to walk my dog in peace without having to look at this sort of thing. And believe me, officers, it was a lot more than just a cuddle. Oh, so what if it was? Get a life, you pathetic old bat! Look, can we all... And you two, what's your problem? Aren't you getting it, eh? Or has he got nothing better to do? Oh. Think a little trip to the police station tonight, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm sorry. I had no idea you felt like that. I couldn't forget either about what happened between us. You couldn't? That's why I went away, partly to, to try and forget, and then I couldn't. I just kept thinking about how comfortable we are together and how easy things seem when you're there and how great you are with the children. And 
Scott, you are such a good father to Jean, and I just, I just began to wonder if maybe you and I could be more than just friends. Do you mean that? Yeah. Really? Yes. Well, then that's great. I mean, that's fantastic. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not promising much, Scott. Well, well, nothing really. Just. Just to try. I mean, I don't know if... Just please don't expect too much. But I won't. I can wait. Can you? Scott, I'm... So... I'm scared. It's been... It's been such a hard year for me. Don't worry. It'll be all right. If you can wait... If we can... Just take things slowly. Of course. All right. All right. I think we should try. <laughs>